Uh, this is my review of the video game Sugar Mill. Uh, Sugar Mill is a city builder game uh, that is set uh, in, I guess, um, the 1700s or the 1600s. It's a pretty good city builder. Uh, the actual building process and the buildings and the supply chain, etc., they're actually pretty good. Um, the user interface is not good at all. There's lots of problems with the user interface. I was one of the people I bought it, um, early access. The game immediately did not work. Like I couldn't place an object on the ground type of thing. The game is like banished. It's not identical to the game banished, but it's kind of like banished, but more advanced. For example, you have the option of food spoiling, to build a house is a more complex chain. You have to build furniture and floors and roof tiles and bricks. You have to get the clay, uh, all the different materials to build everything. It's a little bit of a complex chain. Um, it is a little bit of a slower game. Even when you run it at the faster speed, the people move very slowly. It takes a long time uh, to get off the ground for anything to happen. And... Um, the graphics are nice. Uh, the developers, as far as I know, are actively working on it. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> um, excuse me. So it's because of the way the user interface works, it's a little bit hard to understand this. You know, all the writing is very small. And then, for example, you see how it says brick and it says 12,000? If I go to a house and it says construction progress resources and it says brick 24,000, does that mean that this building already has 24,000 here or that, it's, that it needs 24,000? I don't know. So that's an example of... Uh, how the game is not understood. The other thing is there's a rank, like you can change which building is the next building. And I had a building that was waiting for resources and nothing was happening. And then when I pushed another building to be number one, they started building it. And it was like, were they? do they have to build it in order? I don't know. Uh, so one of the problems with modern games is obviously documentation. There's little to no tool tips or the tooltips are just not good enough. And, like, for example, there's something here called cassava. I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's a food item or not. And, see, it says progress rotten. And sugar cane, is that a food item? I don't know. Because there's two uh, other buildings in the sugar industry one is like a sugar refinery, and the other one is sugar products or something like that. So it's a little bit uh, confusing as to what is what. And then the issue with the pirates, there's a pirate threat. But do the pirates really come? Is it something that's been added in the game yet? Because it says if you get up to 90, you lose the game. But it doesn't say whether or not the pirates are really in the game or not. I don't know. So there's a lot of uh, things about the game that uh, I don't understand yet. And there's an issue with the population, which is similar to the way Banished works, which is um, once they get to a certain age, they won't have kids anymore. So what happened is my because you need to make bricks, I need to make like 16,000 bricks. It only makes a, like 140 bricks per year. How am I going to make 16,000? You know, it's going to take like 100 years to get enough bricks to build one house. And if people only have kids for 40 or 50 years, you just can't do it, you know? So it doesn't make sense. And my population got to be to the point where they're so old. They're all elderly. You know, all the houses are like this. This particular one is the child of the uh, father. And then some of the names, you don't know if it's a man or a woman, and, and you need to know because you need to know if there's a potential that the person might uh, meet somebody. So 
it's a city builder game. It's very slow. Um, there's a few items missing. The maps are a little small. The graphics are nice. I think it moves a little slowly for me. Like the, to zoom in takes a long time. Rotating is good. Um, I'm going to continue playing the game. I'm going to have to restart this one. And I think it'll be fun, but you really don't want to have to, people don't want to have to deal with spoiled food. It's an option you can turn off. And the other thing is, how do you make money? Uh, you have to buy the property. This is what you start with. If you want more property, you see the squares. I bought some of the neighboring squares already. But you got to buy those squares. And look at how much it costs, 18000 How am I going to get the 18000 to buy that square? I already bought that one, that one, and that one. Uh, I don't even... And then you got to pay the salaries for the workers. This amount of money here is only going to last a short period of time. I'm going to be bankrupt soon. So uh, the game is definitely an advanced city builder game. And I would say it's incomplete. It's a little bit incomplete. The city builder process seems to be complete. Um, the UI is a little difficult. I'm going to use an example. Uh, notice all this empty space. And you see how it says bean, corn, and water. Why do they got to put both of them so that you have to click to see both? Why can't they just put it on one tab? You know, this is not that much information. Um... There are a lot of little things that are missing over here. And then building things like if you go and you want to build a road. Let's say I want to build a road from here to here. You see how it's red? You have to go and do it again and go back and build the road again. And, you know, I don't like the fact that you have to do that. Usually when people build roads, they're building multiple roads at the same time. Uh, the industries, there's a lot of choice for houses, which is good, which you will never be able to build. There's a couple choices for food. You've got industries, pottery, mortar, I don't know what that is, lime, blacksmith, uh, mines, various mines, lumber mill. You need all these things, but it's going to take you forever to build them. Ink, chocolate, distillery, armory, tailor, cigars, carpentry, brick. Um, sugar, foundry, sugar mill, printer, paper, gunpowder, cloth. There's a trade option. A couple government buildings, which is schools and the library. You've got the church and you've got a military building. So the problem is you need all those buildings, but it's going to take you forever. I mean, it'll take you, your, your people will go through their entire life. You, you'll be lucky if you build a couple buildings. Uh, you're only going to be able to build the ones where resources are highly available, like wood or something like that. Okay, so um, it's not a ready game yet, but if you don't mind spending the money and building around and, and waiting for them to update, I've been waiting maybe a couple of years. I don't know how many years ago I bought it. Uh, it's okay. I haven't gone far enough yet. To know what it's going to be like but i can tell you the map is not that big and guess what there's not even a mini map as far as i know you can see there's the border and look how slow it is i scrolled around it's not going to be long before we get to the other border some of the icons don't really make sense but the border's got to be coming up real soon it's it's a very small map um, I would say if you don't have Banished, get Banished instead. Um, if, there it is. If uh, you've got a lot of City Builder games, I would say if you're considering this, strongly consider a different game. Uh, they charge too much money for the early access. I might have paid 50 bucks for it. And uh, other games out there, there's there's uh, definitely a lot. I would say the Stronghold Crusader series is fun. It's a military builder game. Cities XL might be better. And all the tycoon games like Tropico are uh, better, easier to play. They've got a little bit of work they got to do on this.
you have any questions or comments, please post below.